The Nigerian Civil Society Situation Room has called on political parties to respect the rule of law and avoid inciting violence through her campaigns. The convener of the Situation Room, Ene Obi, made this known during a press briefing to address the start of the campaigns by political parties ahead of the 2023 general elections. Obi says Nigerians should respect the political differences of others and support parties based on their ideologies and the track records of their candidates. She also called on the media to encourage campaigns based on issues among the candidates and avoid content that promote violence and division. Situation Room is calling on all political parties and candidates to respect and uphold the provisions of Section 92 subsection 1 to 6 and section 93 of the Electoral Act 2022, bearing in mind the need for peaceful election, even as they contest, you know, for the elective positions. And that becomes more pronounced with the kickoff of these campaigns. Uh, political parties must refrain from equipping and employing persons to ferment violence with the intent to discredit another candidate or party. The use of abusive language or campaign materials that could cause religious or ethnic unrest must be avoided. The political campaigns should concentrate on issues aimed at providing solutions to the mirage of issues facing the country with practical roadmaps to actualizing them. Political parties and politicians occupying positions of power at the state level should allow free and unfettered access to public facilities and venues for all campaigns, irrespective of political parties. It is important to note that the Electoral Act has clearly stated penalties you know, in Section 92 and Section 93 of the Act for the political parties and candidates who contravene the rules of conduct. We know that sanctions are not being meted as it should, and so we are calling on the judiciary and also calling on all law enforcement agencies that going to 2023, we are going to be watching keenly who is violating and what laws, who have been held accountable. We will demand accountability for every step of the way. Situation Room has observed that the activities of party supporters on the social media, you know, we have observed that and advised supporters to disease from cyberbullying and other forms of online intimidation. We value the, the social media because it's where you have the huge population of young people. It is important that we pronounce, you know, we, we look at positive, positivity in all of our utterances and hope for building a better Nigeria. It is expected that there will be varying views and opinions and preferences. To this end, it is important to trade with caution and respect differences. Situation room calls on all Nigerians to align themselves with political parties or candidates of their choice based on their strong conviction of the political ideology and proven capacity of the candidate to de deliver on their campaign promises. Citizens should also look out for issue-based campaigns with feasible proposals on how to solve key issues plaguing the country. Many are giving us promises Promises upon promises, they should be judged by what they do. These issues range from security to education, economy, and social welfare. We are, we are calling on the citizens not to sell their votes for today's comfort. Say no to vote trading and encourage other eligible voters to stand firm for what is right. Do not allow yourselves to be used to cause unrest. We need to change the narrative about our young people. These are dignified people from their homes, but the politicians have been problems to them. You know, the youth board that we have, they have, they have been made so vulnerable. And so, uh, Situation Room urges citizens who took part in the continuous voter registration last year to endeavor to go to INEC office at the local government level where their pooling unit is located to collect their permanent voters card. Your PVC is your voice in the 2023 election. This election is going to be like no other because the days of snatching of ballot boxes is over. Your vote will count, and that's why the, the uh, politicians are desperate to buy you 
to buy your conscience, to let you sell your conscience, but you need to know that you are also selling the conscience of future generations, not just your children now, but future generations. To the security agencies, um, like the Nigerian police and the Nigerian security, you know, the civil defense corps, they have an active role to play in polit 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 that's a party campaigns, political party campaigns. It is the duty of these agencies to provide adequate security to proper, you know, for proper and peaceful conduct of rallies. With the Nigerian police as a lead agency, then there is need for the Nigerian police to remain neutral in, in their own provision of security during election campaigns, the period for the utmost, this is very, very important at this point, that they must maintain neutrality. Equal service should be provided to all political actors, irrespective of their size of the political parties. All of us are equal. We are equal before the law, universally, and also as citizens of Nigeria. Nobody is above the law, and nobody is more equal than the other. On this note, Situation Room calls on the Commissioner of Police at the state level, and also we're calling on the IGP, you know, uh, and the Federal Capital Territory to provide security in, in their respective jurisdiction and avoid the use of brute, brutal forces unless when it is required. You know, the police should also watch out for and apprehend any security outfit or armed private security organizations not authorized by Section 91, Subsection 2 of the Electoral Act 2022. 